Welcome to the Karen Sector. This is Andrew. Welcome to 1000 points of Tyranids versus 1000 points of Chaos Space Marines Solo Hammer. Today we're fighting over the planet of Redmayne once again. The okay, Space Marines are here um, in their ghostly forms to go and take on the new and growing High Fleet Moth, the Tyranids. Um, <laughs> I enjoy playing them in the campaign and they uh, basically, my aim with the Tyranids is that they consume biomatter in, as they fight and when they consume biomatter, I get some new models and upgrade them with models that are sort of linked to what they took down. So the Incubi turned into a Swarm Lord, the Witches turned into more Gene Stealers, and then the uh, Gargoyles came from the Hellions, because they like to fly. Although saying that today, fighting the Ghostly Ones, there's probably not gonna be a little bit, not a lot of biomass, so they probably won't grow from this game. But this is all hugely narrative and fun, even if it's just in my own head. So today, we're fighting over this battleground and we're fighting over the prize. So there's one objective in the center. And so if you make any kind of movement onto the objective, you can pick it up or end any kind of movement on the objective, you pick it up and then you can run with it. And then if you're holding it at the end, ah, if you're holding it, you win. If you're controlling it, you win. Or um, if not, then it's a tight game. And we have our battle grid today. So we have a deployment zone on this side, deployment zone on this side, both fairly in cover. So there's lots of large line of sight blocking, uh, building ruins, and then all these will count as barricades to move through. And um, although that will class that as like terrain crater as well. So minus one to move in and out of. And then the prize is at the middle. And our twist is invigorated. Add one to the move characteristics and add one to advance and charge, which is good for the gene stealers. Although saying that, some of my Chaos Space Marines might want to advance as well. So with that being said, let's go look at the armies. Here we have a thousand points of uh, Chaos Space Marines running as Alpha Legion because they're all ghostly and spherically. So the minus one to hit over 12 inches away, but that won't actually have an effect today. But you know, narrative and all that. Today we are led by Master of Possession, his Warlord trait is... Warlord trait is Arch Sorcerer, so he knows three spells. So he knows Sacrifice, Infernal Power, and Cursed Earth to uh, buff all the demons. Uh, in the troops, there are ten... Oh, he has no Mark of Chaos. There are ten, ten Chaos Space Marines with Chain Swords, and these are Mark of Corn with the Icon of Wrath and the Wallow, uh, the Sparring Champion has Power Fist and Plasma Pistol. There are 10 Cultists with a Flamer. Uh, these are all Brutal Assault uh, weapons and uh, Auto Pistols. And there are 10 Cast Space Marines with uh, Bolt Guns, Power Mall on the Aspiring Champion, Auto Cannon and Heavy Bolter. Then in the Fast Attack, we've got a unit of Raptors uh, with one Plasma Pistol and uh, Dual Lightning Claws on the Aspiring Champion. In the Elites, we have the single uh, Greater Possessed. Troop Transport, probably for, two, definitely for those guys. Venom Crawler and, um, and Mola Fiend. Oh, and these are Mark of Slanesh, for obvious reasons, potentially shooting again. Uh, these are Mark of Corn. He's Mark of Corn and he's Mark of Slanesh. And there's no mark on the rhino there uh, for some shenanigans later. All right, let's go look at the uh, Tyranids. So fresh reinforcements for the uh, the Tyranids for High Fleet Morph. They desire, devoured biomass. So we have uh, got some more Gene Stealers, a Swarm Lord, and the Gargoyles that have come in to supplement uh, to get this up to realistically under a thousand points, but with some additions here that it actually comes to just under a thousand. So the Broodlord is the Warlord and he has Warlord trait, uh, Instinctive Killer. 
So you can re-roll um, hits against, I guess, Chaos Space Marine. That makes the most sense, as there's two big units of that. Uh, the Swarm Lord backing him up. Oh, his relic is the uh, Resonance Barb, so you can cast two Psychic Powers. He's got Catalyst and Smite. The, the Swarm Lord has Onslaught, Smite, and the Horror for minus ones to hit and for advancing and charging with things that can't do that. Uh, the, the Gene Stealers can. So two 12 blobs of Gene Stealers, and they have... And they have toxin sacks to bring up to two thousand to bring up to a thousand points. So six is to hit, do um, minus four AP, and also two damage. So they're probably mainly looking after vehicles and things and uh, things with more more wounds, and leave the other things to uh, to the fighter units. Uh, new fresh unit, the gargoyles have come in in the fast attack. So let's see what they do. Apparently they're a pain to move around, but we'll still have some fun with them and see. And then the Morlock to pop in and hopefully do some mortal wounds this time. So a thousand points of High Fleet Morph. Uh, and they're, they run uh, Hyper Metabolic Acceleration so they can reroll advance rolls and True Predators. So in the Consolidation, if there's no other enemy within three inches, they can move the Consolidation move any way they like. So we will go on to uh, Deployment. So end of deployment, the uh, Tyranids won the roll-off, decided to be Defender, chose this side, and they've just kind of swarmed in the center. Gene Stealers, Swarm Lord, Gene Stealers, Brood Lord, and the Gurgles decided to start from the beginning, because um, they can harry and, and distract. And then for the uh, cult, uh, Chaos Space Marines, Warlord in the center there, Demons and Demon Engines on one side, Cultists, the uh, Rhino, there is no having a lot on that one, only the, the Bolter. Uh, that has 10 screaming, crazy, chainsaw-wielding guys in that one. And then we paid two command points to keep the 12-man uh, uh, Chaos Space Marine shooter unit in reserve. These guys will jump in, and then the Morlocks in will, will tunnel up as well at some point within an inch. Or just over an inch, isn't it? And we will go from there. All right. So who can choose turn one? So the white will be for the, the Ghost of the Chaos Space Marines, the red for the Nids. And the Chaos will take first, ooh. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Yeah, we'll take first turn because we can maybe maneuver a little bit, do some distracting and go in from there. So we've moved out, the Rhino got a nice, well it moves 11 inches, or was it 13 inches now that, with the extra movement? And it's actually the only one that can take any shots if it's in range. Uh, the Cultists have been ordered to spread out for a bit of deep strike denial. The Venom Crawler moved forward, um, minus two inches to cross there. Um, can't see anything though, so he's just gotta wait. Uh, these guys moved up. He actually advanced, but then couldn't really go anywhere because minus two over there, minus two over there. Fits in a bubble there, but to get out of that, it's minus two anyway. So he just moved there so he can counter charge the charges that will come in. So we'll go off with some psychic powers. So we will do uh, Cursed Earth. Uh, so we'll give an extra interval stave for um, probably the whole bundle there. That goes off on a seven, a six. So that doesn't go off. And then Infernal Power to reroll uh, ones. That needs a six. So that one goes off. So we do have a single power off there. And I guess I better check the range. So the Combi Bolter is in 24 inch range of the Gene Sealers over there. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours, nothing. And that is the end of turn one for the Chaos Space Marines as we go into turn one for the Tyranids. End of the movement phase. Everything has advanced and moved around to try and get shots or psychic powers off. 
I tried to advance the Swarm Lord hit with 18 inches of the Venom Crawler. It might be 18 inches of the, the Rhino, I'll check that. So if we get a couple of cheeky smites out. And um, yeah, we'll go on to the shooting phase. Oh no, onto the psychic phase. So we'll put Catalyst onto the front bunch of Gene Stealers. Uh, six, I think it's plus one to cast. Hard one to the test. And Catalyst is a six anyway. So the Gene Stealers get a five up feel of pain because they're gonna get probably shot and chopped up a lot. And we will do, he is in range of a smite onto the Venom Crawler. That's a six, that goes off. Ooh, are we in deny range? Yep, so we are in deny range, so we'll try and deny the smite. We don't deny the smite. Uh, D3 on the Venom Crawler. For one. The Swarm Lord is in range of um, the Rhino for a smite. So, so it goes off on a six this time. That goes off for D3. For three. Um, so we'll go on to the shooting phase. Now the Swarm Lord. All right, so he has a special ability that he can pick a unit to move and advance as if it was the movement phase. Um, so this Gene Stealer brood will be chosen to do that and they will move um, their nine inches and maybe try and charge the Rhino. But they don't need to advance for that, I don't think. And yeah, <laughs> and these are out of shooting range. So they might get shot up in turn two, we'll see. But for now, um, we'll start over here. So they moved there. Uh, so they're pretty much an unfailable chart, but we will roll, see if we can do some, so uh, six uh, or five, six. So we'll measure them up. And then these gene stealers will try assaulting that. Um, we will pay a command point for overwatch. So two D3 shots. For six, for the Eviscerator Cannon, hitting on sixes, uh, and I need to look at that then. So it's strength eight, so it will wound on twos, and it will save up on their five invul. And how much damage is it? D3. For one. And then I've got the Catalyst. Oh! <laughs> so that is nothing on Overwatch. And then they can charge in for quite far. All right, we'll move both of them in and then come So back. I'm gonna do this one first because that's the only one that's gonna be worth inter interrupting for. And there are seven in range. And, when, and I've tailed them back to keep their plus one to hit within six inches of the Brewlord. So they're gonna hit on twos. And when there's 10 or more, they get four attacks each. So that's a chunk of dice, hitting on twos. And then wounding on fives, looking for sixes, because they will do two damage. All right, looking for the five. So we'll put the sixes to one side. And then fives. So two fives, eight, uh, saving on the four up. Yep, that's two damage. And then these are saving on the five up invul. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 damage. Ah, that's, um, hmm. well done Gene Steelers. This blows up on a five up. It does not blow up, so it's just removed from play. Ooh. And I'm choosing, I'm not gonna consolidate with these ones because one, we're holding the, uh, the prize that we are within three inches there, so we can't choose our direction to uh, uh, do that in. And we're also within synapse range and things over there. So coming over here, there's 40 attacks. Hitting on threes, because we're not in range. Um, and then wounding on fives, but looking for sixes again. So, 40 attacks, <laughs> hitting on fives. Take out the ones and twos. Uh, 
fives. We're looking for the sixes because the sixes will go straight through the armor. Ooh, not as many this time. Five. So that's four damage that goes straight through. Uh, put it down to three. And then three four up saves to keep it alive. Oh, it's got a single wound left. And it gets to attack back with a single attack, hitting on sixes. Does not hit. So that fight will have to be resolved in um, getting out. If we can get out, well, if we can get out and move and then charge in with uh, everything there. Um, and that is the end of turn one for both sides. Um, so we've got some reinforcements coming in for the Chaos Space Marines, see if that'll do some damage. And we'll go on to turn two. End of the movement phase. Um, the rhino, we got out the rhino. Rhino move forward. These guys are deep struck in and actually the way they've lined up there, they actually all have line of sight on the swarm lord. So he might get shot up a bit. If there's ever four up in vol, um, they still have their catalyst on them. The Greater Possessed has moved this way to take them on. The Molefield only needs to get up to the barricade in a charge, so does he. Uh, these guys have not moved. Um, maybe we'll put some pistols into Gene Steelers to try and move them down. Um, so I was saying that we might try and hit any die. And then the Raptors drops in to charge the Gargoyles over there and see if we can do some damage. So we'll go on to the Psychic phase and we'll try again for Infern Infernal Power and Cursed Earth. And, ooh, we are in range of, um, what's it called, Shadow in the Warp, so it is plus one to cast, so Infernal Power will go off on a seven, nope, and Cursed Earth will go off on an eight. That one does go off. So we do have um, four up invuls on these guys here, but no real <laughs> ones, so that's good. Um, so we'll go on to the shooting phase. So he has a single pistol, and so he'll take a shot, and he hits on a three, hits wound on a four, no wounds. Flamer is out of range here, but the auto pistols will go into the gene stealers, hitting on four, uh, wounding on fives, because they're strength three, no wounds. So that's everything over here. We'll put our pistols into here and the plasma pistol into there as well. So there's nine pistols hitting on three. Putting on four. Nothing. Plasma pistol, not overcharging. Hitting on a three. Does not hit. <sighs> Coming up over here. Three pistols and the plasma pistol into there. Not overcharging. Three pistols hitting on threes. No wounds. And the plasma pistol hits. Wounds. And gargoyles only have a six up save. So we will take out one of those. And then we will put everything in here into um, the Swarm Lord. Although, I know this is technically not the right herb ruin, but I'm counting these as you can't shoot through them. So we'll pay a command point for veterans. And uh, so they will get plus one to wound. And I'll count some down. Everything putting their shots into the Swarm Lord. Bolt of fire first. Hitting on threes. Normally wounding on fives, but for veterans, wounding on fours. Uh, 
Let's hold them all Has a three up save. So saving on threes. So two save, one goes through. So he has 12 wounds, putting him down to 11. Heavy Volta hitting on fours. Winning on, uh, normally winning on five, but winning on fours. Wounds. Four up invul save, saved. And the auto cannon. Two hits. Winning on threes, because of veterans. And saving on a four. And the auto cannon. Two damage? It is two damage. him down to nine and that is the end of the shooting phase so we will pay two command points for endless cacophony uh, on top of the veterans so these will shoot again at the swarm lord bolt guns hitting on threes Wounding on fours because of veterans. Oh, much better this time. Saving on three ups. So he takes three more wounds, putting him down to six. And then we have the heavy bolter hitting on fours, wounding on fours, four up invul save, two four, <laughs> bringing down to two wounds, and then left to the auto cannon. No hits. The swarm lord has two wounds remaining. Now we go on to the charge phase. We will start the charge here. Fault, that's gonna get them in. Molofiend. He's gonna get in, he just needs to get to the barrier. And the greater possessed. Oh, he's in, but doesn't need to go that far. Um, move these guys in, and then I have to make a choice. As these guys have a four up in vol. I think I need to start with the Chaos Marines here with their chain swords and power fists. So we'll cons um, do our activation move count up dice and then come back. So they all get to attack because they're all within half an inch. And there's three for the sergeant, one attack, hateful assault and chain sword. Um, so this is gonna be fun. So we'll do the power fist first, hitting on fours. One hit, wounding on two, five of pinball, that's saved. And then 30, hitting on three. Yep, let's pay command point for veterans. So wounding on threes. And then there are five up invuls. Swift and deadly, that's what it's called. Ooh. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So that's remaining there. And I forgot the charge over there. They got a mighty uh, ten, so it's an eleven, so there in over there as well. But we'll pay the two command points to interrupt here. We have consolidated. So one, two, three, we'll go into the Great Possessed. One, two, three, four, we'll go into um, the Mauler Fiend there. So they're three into the Greater Possessed. He's toughness five. So they will be wounding on uh, fives and sixes, but we're looking for the sixes, but it's gonna be four up involves either way. Uh, hitting on twos, and now no longer in range. I can do this roll again, that'd be quite nice. Uh, five and sixes. Right. So these are four up one damage. And this is a four up two damage. So he takes a single, so he's down to four wounds and then we'll put the four into the smaller fiend. Hitting on threes. Mm. 
singly on fives, but again, looking for those sixes for the two damage. Ooh. So four up, yep, and four ups. So the Mola Fiend takes two damage. So 10 wounds for the Mola Fiend, as we'll go into the uh, Raptors attacking over there. So a bunch of attacks coming through. They've got a six up save. So anything that wounds will go straight through. So toughness three, so I'm gonna be wounding on threes. Uh, chainsaws, threes. Just removing models on threes. And then the lightning claws on threes. Wounding on threes, re-rolling. No need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that is the squad. Greater Possessed going in, he gets five attacks. That's one for Hateful Assault, because they were, because he did charge in. Uh, hitting on twos. Wounding on threes, because he's found six. And then saving on five up involes. And these are D3 damage. So three. Catalyst, one's dead. Catalyst, one's dead. So we'll take away those two. Ooh, we might need to make morale checks. Uh, I don't know if that counters then. Um, and then the Mola Fiend. We'll pay our last command point for Demon Forge, so we will take that down. So we get four attacks with the fists, and then six additional attacks with the Lasher Tendrils. So these will hit on fours, re-rolling all failed hits. Wound on twos, re-rolling wound rolls, saving on the five ups. Two save, one goes through for flat three damage. Three five ups, again, one more goes. And then the Lasher Tendrils, hitting on fours, re-rolling. Seven, so wounding on threes. We're rolling, there we go. Let's mold up that one done. And then uh, saving on fives. One saved. And these are two damage each. So one, two, Oh, and uh, three, three more die there. <laughs> We're still holding on to the objective. That's uh, good, right. Attacks back, it's only these guys. One, two, hitting on three. Uh, wounding on fours. And saving on fours. They save. Oh, these are screaming madmen. Ooh, this is going to be brutal. So we will go on to turn two for the Tyranids. End of the movement phase, and I checked. They, both of these units were within 24 inches, so they stayed still. They said in combat they were going to get swarmed, but they can't, um, they're held in place a little bit, um, if everything goes to plan. Moloch popped up here, we'll do the, his thing in a minute. Swarm Lord, I paid a command point to regenerate, so he's up to five. Brew Lord, screen for these guys to get out of the way, so he's going to mix it with possibly that character there. Hopefully take him down um, as we go on to the psychic phase. So we'll start over here. We'll put Catalyst on himself. 
that does not go off. Oh, I have to be careful, I'm in range of a special thing for him. And then Smite goes off, D3 on the Mola uh, Fiend for a single one, putting him down to nine. There we are. And we'll go on here. So we will... The horror of these, so these are minus one to hit. So, uh, the horror goes off on a six. Yeah, that goes off, so then minus one to hit. And he will smite as well, so we need a six this time. No smite there. Oh, and his pop-up thing. So on a two or three, two to five or a six, who we'll do some damage here. So five, D3 mortal wounds. Does it explode? It does. Ooh. So he exploded. He did one mortal wound onto these guys. Two mortal, three mortal wounds onto the gene sealer, so they actually go. And three mortal wounds onto um, the Moloch. So I need to mark him up. And the Rhino is removed from play. So, yeah. Oh. And we need to do wounds onto that one. Uh, so again, D3 for one. So he kills a single one there and a single one there. That's not really very effective. But we did blow that thing up. Right, we need to mark up his wounds. So the end of the movement in the psychic phase, the only thing left to do is charge. So he will charge into the greater possessed. Oh, yeah, he's after his revenge. Uh, he will charge into there. And there's no command points for Overwatch. Eight. I I'm gonna start over this side. He gets five attacks at his current bracket onto the uh, Marines, hitting on twos. I'll hit uh, strength seven. So wounding on threes, but sixes will do a mortal wound in addition. So one mortal wound will take one out, and so I've lost two this turn, and then three six ups. Nope, so three more will go from that. They're gonna have to take morale, and they will remember the Broodlord. He gets uh, six attacks. Hitting on twos. And then wounding on four. They don't get a reroll. You can reroll fail wounds for this weapon. Ah, lovely. And then four up. He tanks the lot of them. Oh. So six attacks back. The hateful assault. Hitting on twos. Strength six now, so wounding on three. He's in range of himself. Uh, five up invul. And D3 damage for two. Catalyst. No, so he takes two wounds. I think putting him down to four wounds. And then the Marines get to fight. So attacking back over here. And the Swarm Lord is attacking a seven, so they're wounding on fives. So the Power Mall uh, hits on threes. One hit, wounds on a five, nothing. And then the, just the regular Marines hits on threes. And on fives. And three up save, we've got an invul in close combat. Ooh, putting him down to four wounds. Looking through, I can't seem to find a fight against Strat. So this is how turn two ends for the Gene Stealers with uh, this combat ongoing and these guys in combat ongoing. And ooh, the Moloch waiting in the wings. 
problem. Probably gonna have to deal with these guys. As we go into turn three for the Chaos Space Marines. End of the movement phase. The cultists move forward. Oh, I did morale over here. They fell back. Um, they rolled a nine, their leadership eight. So one ran and then three more ran away after that one. So there's just the three there, but they fall out of combat because um, Overwatch is a thing. The less of a thing now. Um, Raptor jump forward to get him to be able to move through, he had to advance, so he's not doing anything this turn, but he will be ready just in case um, anything is left alive over here. And then these guys move forward to take on the Morlock in revenge for having a <laughs> single one of them blown up by the Rhino. So we're going to the Psychic phase. And again, Shadow in the Warp is a thing. Uh, so, ooh. So he'll do sacrifice. So we'll sacrifice one of the gene stealers on a five. That does not go off. And then we will smite the broodlord. That goes off and we'll try and deny that one. Uh, six, that is not denied. Oh no, it's minus one, so that's a five. Oh, it was denied, okay. So the smite denied over there. So we'll go on to the shooting phase. So everything here into the Broodlord. So we do have a flamer. Flamer is strength four, okay. D6 shots, three, wounding on fives, no wounds. And then two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pistols, hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. And saving on. So he takes two wounds, putting him down to two. The Lord will put, or the Master of Possession will put a single shot in, hitting on a three. Nope. We'll put everything here. And the Gene Stealers are the closest units, we'll have to get into there. So, four shots, uh, three shots hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Five up. Oh no, the Broodlord has Catalyst. Oh. He's back up to four wounds. So there was nothing there. And then the Plasma Pistol, don't need to overcharge. Doesn't hit, thankfully. Uh, shooting all the pistols into there. Well, not overcharge the Plasma Pistol. Uh, one, six, six, nine. Uh, hitting on threes, wounding on fives, uh, saving on three ups, the plasma pistol hits, wounds, uh, six up, oh, saves. That's the Morlock has a three up save. He does have a three up save. All right, we're good over there. Um, so that's very much the end there. So we've gone to the charge phase. We'll charge the Master of Procession into the Broodlord. He's in. The Raptors will go against both. Four. Yeah, that should do it. And then these guys will charge here with the Icon of Wrath, which means they can re-roll failed. Let me double check the wording on that one. Reroll charge rolls. Okay, good. Oh yeah, again, we've got interruptions. So we will start with the Raptors. So three of them into the Broodlord, two of them into the Gene Stealers. So the Lightning Claw, two attacks. Hateful Assault, and then the Lightning Claws, and then Chainsword, Chainsword, and Chainsword, Chainsword, into the Gene Stealers. So the Lightning Claws, hitting on threes, all hit, wounding on fives, re-rolling everything, because that's what the Lightning Claws do. Uh, five up, uh, save. And then Catalyst. 
So he takes two wounds, putting him down, back down to two. Uh, chain swords. And then wounding on fives. No wounds. And for the gene sealers, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. And a five up save. No, we take down a single gene stealer. Though we're still holding the objective in turn three. Uh, do I take two command points to go onto the warlord? Or two command points to go onto the screaming kit? Crazy guys. Two command points to go on the warlord. So six attacks hitting on the twos. Strength five, top of four, wounding on the threes. And then the five up invul. But there are three damage apiece. Oh, D3 damage. Sixes become three damage. Uh, ooh. No, there wasn't any sixes, were there? Uh, was there? No, All right, it's too late now. So D3 damage. Uh, three. So the master possession has a single wound left. And we go on to attacking over here. So the power fist is in the middle. One, two, three, four, five other attacks. Power fist. One, five, didn't I? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So the power fist hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Saving on sixes. Uh, so that's four damage. Putting them down to five wounds. And then the chainsaws. Hitting on threes. Moving on fives. What's it sixes? What's there? Toughness. Six. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's fives. That's not bad. Saving on fours, because they can minus one. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, does he go crazy? Please go crazy. No. The Morlock is also removed from play there. So these guys can consolidate round. They will go screaming and charging and looking after the Swarm Lord there. So the Gene Stealers get to attack. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hitting on twos, because they're right next to the Broodlord, who is miraculously still alive. Wounding on fours. So that's three dead straight away. Oh, so they, well, they can only go on to the raptors. And these are saving on falls. Nope, the raptors are very much dead in response. As we then go on to turn three for the gene stealer, uh, for the, um, Tyranids. And in the movement phase, the Gene Stealers advanced round here because they can numb on the actual only thing that's biomass here. I uh, was stayed in combat here. Um, maybe we can smite our way out of it and charge him. Ignore the big thing. The Morlock is no longer on the field. Paid another command point for the Swarm Lord to regenerate, so he's up to six. And he's going to go after these crazy things rather than the three easy things over there. Um, and there's a brilliant two CP strat that you can put five more gene sealers on the table within six inches of him, but they have to be within uh, outside of nine inches of other enemy. So we can't play that one. So we will go on to the psychic phase. He will put catalyst on himself. That does not go off. And a smite. Does not go off. Lovely. So he will smite over here. And that goes off for D3, for just the one. 
and he will uh, horror them. That needed a six, that doesn't go off, so they're still hitting on threes. Well, they probably should be hitting on fours before, but never mind. Um, there is no shooting phase, so we'll go straight into the charge phase. These will charge in. Six, seven, yep. And, is it worth paying command points for the flight? Yeah, we'll pay our last command point for Overwatch. Nine pistols, pistols and sixes. Wounding on fives. Uh, flamer for the big six. Fours. Ooh. Five ups. So four of them go. So there's just the one single gene stealer left on the table um, with <laughs> They still got the prize though. Uh, definitely. Um, and charging over here. Sorry, there's no more points for interrupting. So we'll do the attacks here. Hitting on twos, we're in, uh, wounding on threes. And AP minus one, that'll just cut three of them down straight away. And over here, I need to double check. And in a bit of not actually recording, I don't know how much I missed. So the Swarm Lord killed uh, two here after doing um, one with a smite. And the, oh, that Gene Stealer killed three cultists here. Um, what name, Keith, Jeff? No. Oh yeah, Keith Jeff has been slain. And the Master Possession fought first and killed the Brew Lord um, by rolling D3 wounds and rolling two, and he had two wounds left. So we will go on to the fight back phase. So these will consolidate in. So four of them can attack here with a brutal close combat weapons. AP dash. So. Hitting on fours. And then wounding on fives. And then saving on fives. Nope, a last gene stealer there. Oh, that's Jerry. This is a very special gene stealer. This is the first one I painted. And he is Jerry, Jerry the gene stealer. Um, he's got the pink on his back of his head there. And he has four friends and he's Jerry and the Andersons. But he is now gone and finally dropped that at the end of turn three and then attacks over here. So we've got the, where's the power fist? Oh, they're all, they're all in range anyway. It's all counter. Coming over here, the power fist hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Three up in one save, save. And then the chain swords hitting on threes. That one is very cocked. Right, let me stay away. Moving on fives. Saving on threes. So he takes three wounds, putting him back down to three. So that's putting him onto his last bracket there. Uh, morale over there, they lost three. Leaderships. Six. So, four, five, six, seven. So one of them runs away. Two, three, four, five, six. And they're not down to half strength yet, so just ones. And another one runs away. That gene stealer was pretty scary, but we've cleared off all of this side of the board as we go into uh, turn four. Beginning of turn four, the Master of Possession has um, screamed at the cultist to back off. So they will just back off slightly. And um, it's his prize for the taking. Uh, we move forward here. 
and we move forward here. And then um, after some conversations, these have been um, suggested that they fall back because they can shoot in, because he's got a four up in to shooting and uh, not a three up in close combat. And maybe they might charge as well. So they will shoot first. And so we'll start with the heavy bolter hitting on fours. Oh, we got command points back, but you can't. Ooh. Wounding on fives. Oh, we'll use our one command point for vets. So wounding on fours, but that's okay. Four up invul. No, putting him down to a single wound left. Auto cannon hitting on fours. No hits. Bolter. Uh, two hits. Wounding on fours for veterans. No wounds. Ah. So we will um, charge. And yep, that's definitely in. Two seven. Ah. Actually, the Palmol gets him up to strength seven. There he is. So he will do his attacks first, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Nothing. And the regular dudes. Two hits. Fives. Nothing. So he gets to attack back with his single. He's now down to four attacks. Hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. And the six does a mortal wound on that one. And then sixes. No, he um, he wipes them out in revenge. And that is the end of turn three for the Chaos Space Marines. Um, that's pretty much gonna call it, but we'll spend the command points uh, giving him two wounds back. Put him on to three, so he's, well, he's still on his lowest bracket. He will charge in there, he's auto in. So he gets four attacks. Uh, hitting on twos, wounding on threes. Saving on a six. And his tail hits, doesn't wound. So they will fight back. They'll move around that way so everybody can get in. So the power fist, three attacks, and then there is, oh, sorry, he would have done a smite first. Hits. Now we'll only kill one of them. And he will try the horror, which goes off on a six. Yes. So they're minus one to hit. So these will hit on fours. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's four now. Do this thing all in the wrong order. Hateful Assault and Chainsaw. So the Power Fist hits on fours anyway. And on a three. No wounds. These guys will hit on fours. And wound on fives. There's no command point for vets. Save on threes. Put up to two wounds. <laughs> Swan Lord lives to fight another day, but I think that's a good point to call it at the end of turn three. Uh, they're going to keep hold of that objective no matter what. Or oh, end of turn four, should I say? I've lost track. Turn three, turn four. I think it's turn four. So the end of turn four, Chaos Space Marines take the victory. Um, the prize, some kind of arcane knowledge um, that maybe fleet locations for high fleet, uh, maybe fleet locations for high fleet morph, and maybe they can lay some more damage, send the demon engines, and play with the, these guys here. That was a fun, I think that was a fairly close matchup. Um, the toxin sacks, I think there's better ways to spend the point. They're quite a big point sink. So we didn't even finish off one unit to get any biomass. But yeah, I, I enjoyed this game. This was a good matchup. It's nice to get the Chaos Space Marines out again. Nice to see them have a, like an even fair matchup, I think. <laughs> I wonder if he would have survived turn five. But anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching the Ikaran Sector. Thank you for indulging me in my solo hammer. Please do like and subscribe. Please make comments for where I went wrong. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.